Hi, Drew. How are you doing? Good, buddy. How are you? Fine, thanks. Fine. Uh, we chatted last year before WrestleMania, yes. so I brought you luck. I hope it will uh, happen this time too. Um, I'm, I'm WrestleMania... hoping you're my good luck charm. Last year you were a good luck charm, so hopefully it'll be the same this year. Oh, there's a cat. Just like mine. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, the problem of the smart working. Uh, at yes. WrestleMania, the crowd will finally be back. How do you feel about it and uh, how hard was in this year without the fans? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say hard. I look at everything as a challenge. We just, you know, had to innovate and adapt without our fans there. You know, in a performance center without the fans there live, I tried to look at it like, okay, how can we reach the fans at home? It's very quiet in here. There's no atmosphere that you expect from WWE because of our fans. So I'd, you know, hit harder in matches, make sure um, we close the gap to make sure everything looked as tight and believable as possible. And with the interviews, because there was no no one talking it was almost like a theater show where you're able to develop your character on a deeper level because nobody was shouting over you and dictating the way you took the interview so if you took the time and really understood your character you could explain to everybody who you are not just on one level but on multiple levels and add many layers to your character and then obviously we pivoted to the thunderdome it was nice having the fans back virtually hearing them and um, throughout the arena but nothing's like our fans there in person. So I won the title with no fans to silence. I won the title in the Thunderdome, could hear them over the speaker, which was cool. And now I've got the chance to go for the title for a third time in a different era, in the same year, well, a year apart. And fighting for the title again is unbelievable. And the fans are going to be so rowdy, so loud. 25,000 are going to sound like about 400,000 because the WWE fans are insane and passionate. And I love them. Um, what do you look uh, forward or, uh, to the most once uh, things open up again? I mean, uh, as a wrestler and uh, in uh, your lifestyle. Uh, so many things. Um, I look forward to um, being out and about and seeing everybody um, in public. That'll be nice. Um, you know, as humans, we're, you know, I'm not the most sociable, but we're social creatures. And it's, it would be nice to be out and about and see everybody again and hopefully... And I know for me personally, hopefully everyone else feels the same. I like, you know, appreciate the little things a little more that we took for granted in the past. I'm excited to travel again and bring WWE shows to everybody around the world um, and around the country. Like it's going to be great to see them and talk to them in person. I've done a lot virtually and that's cool, but there's nothing like seeing everyone in person and feeling that passion in person. And of course, I can't wait to get back uh, to Scotland and see my family and friends that I've not seen for over a year um, so that's going to be a lot of fun and when I win back my title at Wrestlemania I can't wait to get back to Europe do myself a little title tour across the UK jump about some European countries hopefully Italy as well and get to see all my fans in person and hold up that title and say my goodness it's good to be back uh, first Brock Lesnar then uh, uh, Bobby Lashley always in the main event of Wrestlemania how are you changing this year between these two matches I mean I'm a different person in a lot of ways. Like last year, I was trying to prove myself on the top level, and there's no one any higher than Brock Lesnar in this industry. He's such an enigma and such an attraction, as well as being as legit as they come. And I was looking to prove myself to the fans as a character that I belonged on the top of the card, but also, you know, defeating someone like Brock Lesnar and like really put me here. And then once I was here, I had to maintain that. Like Brock set the table and I had to show everybody I really belonged at the top of the card. And I worked my butt off. I mean, I always worked my butt off, but I really worked my butt off all year long to show the fans who I am and that I deserve and have earned the right to represent the company the way I have. And also at the same time, um, while they were watching and encouraging me and giving me such positive feedback through social media, I built my confidence at that level. So going into this WrestleMania, I'm fully confident in my ability and where I belong on the show. Lashley is where I was last year. He finally put the final pieces together to get himself to that top level. You know, he's as hungry as I am. We're both big physical guys, two heavyweights. It's a bit of a throwback match, but going to be highly athletic as well as highly physical. And unfortunately for Lashley, unlike me last year, having my big moment at WrestleMania, he's going to have my big foot in his face. And then I'm going to get my moment with the fans. What did you mean? Uh, uh, what did it mean for you to represent WWE as a champion in a unique year as 2020? I meant everything. Um, I'm so fortunate that the company trusts me in that position, that the fans trust me in that position. 
and I'm grateful for my journey. Like th things happen for a reason. Like all the good times and the bad times in my life, professionally and personally, have prepared me for anything in this industry. And nobody's been on the journey I've been through or been the places I've been and worked for the companies I've worked for and trying to grow them as a leader and as a representative. And the fact that I had those experiences prepared me to be the guy and the only guy that could lead the company during those difficult times. And I didn't see it as a lot of our roster did at the time. Oh no, what do we do? I saw it as, okay, this is a challenge. I know it's never been done before. It's uncharted war, but it gives us a chance to innovate and create, throw things against the wall and see what sticks. And it's been really cool to be that guy and be trusted all this time and do what I've done on the show, like try to find new ways to reach the fans and looking down the camera. I believe I was the first one to start doing that and just show everybody, hey, embrace your environment. Don't pretend there's people here. Don't talk to imaginary people. Just embrace whatever environment you're in. The more comfortable you are, the more relaxed you are, the more you'll connect <clears throat> with the fans at home and also getting the opportunity to speak constantly, virtually um, to everyone across the world, whatever media outlet, whatever walk of life has been such a thrill for me. And again, when someone in the locker room says, oh, I've got too much media, I go, I'll take it. What is, this is not work. This is a dream. I'm talking about WWE. I'm talking about Drew McIntyre. I'm literally living the dream right now. Your story and Bobby Lashley's one are really similar. You both had to wait uh, for your second chance at the WWE to reach the WrestleMania main event. Don't you think uh, this is an important message for the entire locker room? It's very important um, for the entire locker room. And Hopefully everyone didn't take you know, my words too personally on Raw a couple of weeks ago when I went off in the locker room. Um, I am that passionate. I do feel strongly that if you think you're working hard, trust me, you're not working hard enough. And it took myself and Lashley leaving WWE and me being fired to understand and look ourselves in the mirror and be honest. It was like, wow, as hard as we were working, we weren't working in all areas of our game to be as be the best we possibly could be. And that time away for us, we did it the hard way. You know, we had to go away. We had to find ourselves. We came back to WWE. We started at the bottom and we both worked our way to the top. And as I say, last year, I finally put those last pieces together after 20 years, much like this year, Lashley put those last pieces of the puzzle together. And we're still hungry as we've ever been. Every day is day one. As far as Lashley and I are concerned, you can never be content. We work as hard as we can in the gym to look as good as possible, to perform as good as possible. We work on our speaking, or he's got MVP by his side, he's one of the best talkers in the world. We work at bettering ourselves in every single possible area. We leave no stone unturned. And the fact that that hard work has paid off, and we're both so confident heading into the main event of WrestleMania for the WWE title, hopefully will inspire the rest of the roster to look at themselves honestly in the mirror and say, am I giving it my all or am I just saying and tweeting that I'm giving it my all? Why aren't they awarding me? Because that's not how things work. I'm proof and Lashley's proof. And the, last, uh, the last one, uh, what message do you send to the Italian fans who will be rooting for you and waiting for a new WWE tour in Italy? Uh, I say thank you. Um, I see all the messages socially. The WWE social team are always updating me because I harass every department in the company. I like to be updated with everything going on. I like to know uh, who's saying what. And I hear about every country and I know like how loyal and passionate the Italian fans are from being there in person, but also this past year, like positively responding to me and being champion. And I want to say thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting WWE. Hopefully we've brought you some smiles during these difficult times, but trust me, we're getting back to normal. We're getting it back in the road. We're going to get back to Italy. I'm going to have the damn belt. And as I said earlier, I can't wait to hold it up. Say we're back. Let's have a heck of a time here tonight and have a damn party in Italy. Thank you so much, Drew. Uh, good luck for WrestleMania. Thank you, buddy.